G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC. Today we're going to have a look at installing Etcher. <coughs> so let's get on with it. I've just installed Telegram, so now we're going to take a look at installing Etcher. Go to the website. <coughs> Download for Linux 64-bit. Save file. Now I'm glad that came up that popped up like that because recently it has been taking you to um, like a Google Drive type thing where it's not been downloading so that's good so I must have fixed that must have been like a dodgy link or something so at least that's working so we'll just wait for that to come down so that's complete Download is complete. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Etcher. That's usually an app image. Yep. So I'll extract that here. Cut that and I'll do the same as the uh, Telegram one. Now I've got Control H set up now. <clears throat> uh, create new folder, call it dot etcher. Paste that. Okay. So we go to our menu editor. to put it in I think I'll put it in other sounds good so we'll put in other add launcher uh, we'll browse icons I don't know if they've got an icon for etcher we'll have a look it doesn't look like it does it let's see if we can browse files and find etcher So if we go to downloads, no, there's no etcher thing in there either. <clears throat> Name etcher. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Etcher icon PNG. That's the etcher icon. We'll make sure it's a PNG first. Yep, you can see the checkerboard behind there. So we'll save image as, and I think I will put it in. Let's show hidden files we have. Dot etcher. Browse files. Dot um, etcher. PNG. Okay. And search for the command. Same deal. Dot etcher. That's our app image. And we save that. That's been saved, so we should be right to go. Etcher. Uh, yep, we put it in there, yep. <clears throat> and Etcher's up and running. So we haven't got any, I haven't got any ISOs to show you at the moment, but if you had some ISOs and you download file or something, you could choose that. I don't have a drive connected yet. Well, I do. I've got a, I've got a drive there, but that's uh, 
a drive I don't really want to write on. So, so that's how you install Etcher. And that can be done on uh, most Linux distros anyway. Uh, except if you're an Arch, it's more than likely in the AUR. So thank you for watching.